In 2013, Dark Snow Project inaugurated a bold new initiative for climate research and communication, taking a multidisciplinary international team to the heart of the Greenland ice sheet. In recent years, we've continued to show what a small group of committed individuals can achieve. In our unique crowdfunded model, researchers and media specialists have journeyed as a team to remote areas and brought back a wealth of data and the all-important story of climate change. Jeff Goodell, a senior writer for Rolling Stone, was on the first Dark Snow trip and has since emerged as one of the world's premier communicators of climate science. Recently, Jeff remembered his first flight to the world's fastest flowing ice stream as part of Dark Snow Project. I think about that trip to Greenland a lot. One of the hard things to grasp about climate change is the sort of interconnectedness of everything. That it's not just about a wildfire in California or about a flood in Miami. It's about these profound changes that are happening to our planet in, in, in subtle and not so subtle ways. In 2017, Jeff's book length examination of ice melt and sea level rise became an international bestseller and created an even larger platform for climate communication. 2017 also marked publication of significant results by dark snow researchers, including biologist Merrick Stibal, who has pioneered understanding of the role of bacteria and algae in darkening the Greenland ice. The idea was to really try and quantify that, uh, that relationship between algal growth in surface ice in Greenland and surface melt. We simply measured the the, uh, the numbers of cells um, in in the surface ice, and then we compared that um, or those numbers to the darkness of the surface. And then we tried to find the relationship between those two uh, very simple, uh, very simple variables, and we did. We camped for uh, almost two months in 2014 on the Western Greenland ice sheet. We had a lot of field data. We measured like 2,000 portable spectrometer measurements of the reflectance of the ice surface, another 1,000 biological samples. Some of that has to be uh, analyzed back in laboratories uh, in uh, Copenhagen and Prague. Dark Snow Research has inspired other, much larger science teams now working to better understand this frontier science. Uh, Jason Box and Marek Stabal of the Dark Snow Project, for example, have, have been looking into this in the last couple of years. A signature part of Dark Snow research has been in pioneering the use of aerial drones in mapping and understanding Greenland ice melt. Jonathan Ryan of Aberystwyth University has become known as one of the leading drone researchers on Greenland ice. We can cover um, up to five kilometers squared, depending on how high we fly them. Uh, so we can get quite a decent coverage of, um, of the ice with a really quite a small pixel resolution, uh, if this, depending on the, the quality of the camera. Hundreds of drone flights over several field seasons have provided researchers with a rich trove of new information that is expanding understanding of ice sheet movement and melt. For the last six years, with your help, Dark Snow Project has expanded the frontiers of citizen science and been a platform for effective climate communication. This year, we're planning to keep pushing for wider awareness of the far-reaching effects of climate change, the most critical issue of our time. The stakes have never been higher. We hope you'll go to darksnow.org and make a tax-deductible contribution this year.